Good evening, Titans. This is Mr. Simpson again, and tonight we'll be discussing Lesson 4.2. The essential question is how can you write an equation of a line when you are given the slope and a point on the line? Now remember, in 4.1 we were able to write the equation of a line in slope-intercept form when we found the slope, but then we are given the y-intercept. Now we're just going to be given a point on the line. So to help us do this, we're going to be using this point-slope form. So I think this is in your book, your journal book, but make sure you have this written down if not. The point-slope form is a linear equation written in the form of y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1, where again, m is equal to our slope, just like it's been, and then the x1 and the y1 is a point on the line. Okay. So now, if we look at the core concept again, it's just the point slope form. And if you look here, we have a line graphed. We would find our slope by using the slope formula. And then we use one of the ordered pairs given to us, so the ordered pair given to us, x1, y1, and we substitute it in. And now once we have it in this form, now we can keep it in this form, or we can eliminate parentheses, solve for y, and put it in slope-intercept form, and that's what we'll work on next here. So in this first problem, we're given the slope, and we're given a point on the line. So if we think about point-slope form, which is y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Well, again, the first point given to us is our x1, y1. So we'd write it as y minus y1 is a negative 1 equals the slope of a negative 2 times x minus our x1 is 3. And we're done. It says write an equation in point-slope form of the line that passes through the given point and has the given slope. Now the only thing we would do to try to simplify this is we usually never leave the double negative. So we'd write it as y plus 1 equals negative 2 times the quantity x minus 3. And now that's considered point-slope form. Now I'm going to erase this before I do example 2. So if you want to get this down, pause it, and then I'll start example 2. Alright, so for example 2, again, we'll go y minus 0 equals a negative 2 thirds times x minus, and x1 is 4. Now to simplify this, again, they just want it left in point slope form, but we would just go ahead and simplify it to be y equals negative 2 thirds times the quantity x minus 4. And that's how it's simplified in point slope form.